and I'm back and today I'm going to be showing you my collection of flight suits slash dragon armor whatever you really want to call it so I'm gonna start with the part that's on this you there's also a bunch here so let's just start with the first one so this I think you can get it from like buying membership but you can also buy it with gems I'm not entirely sure so with every flight suit except one I think you can actually like remove the helmet or not this kind of <laughs> Oh, this doesn't look the best, does it? I mean, it's like from the movies, I, I see what they were trying to do. You know what, I'm going to a place where it's a bit lighter. Flight suits in general are a very nice piece of clothing. I mean, you don't really need to equip anything. It's just one solid piece, which is what I like, because I just don't feel like making an actual outfit here. But there's also another usage for them, which is the fact that you can actually fly with them, hence the name. I have to be honest, I don't really use this feature often, but it is very cool when you see it, it's just a bit tricky to showcase. But yeah, this flight suit isn't bad, but it's just definitely not nowhere near as impressive as like most of them. So next thing we have this one, and it's just, it's almost exactly the same as much as I've noticed. I don't think there's much of a difference. Uh, I think it's just the exact same model. But yeah, this one, I mean... It's really nothing special. Again, just in the lighting of School of Dragons, these things can be a bit annoying because, I don't know, every area they just feel the need to have it so dark and there's so little actually like light areas. So yeah, it, it's fine. It's just nothing special to me. So here we have this one from Homecoming and I mean it's adorable but god I hate Homecoming. That is one of the wor- oh my god it's probably the wor- is it the worst thing from How to Train a Dragon? Maybe. I don't know if it can beat the third movie. I don't exactly remember. Oh yay I have been logged out. Thanks School of Dragons. So yeah, apart from my hatred of the homecoming short special, I don't know what it is, who cares. But yeah, this suit is actually pretty adorable. It, it's nice. Um, I don't exactly remember, I never use it. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's definitely more original, like the wings that it has. I guess that's cool, but also I kind of don't care. And I wanted to say, oh, now we can actually move on to the good stuff, but now we have another obstacle to overcome. And it is this thing, probably the ugliest thing. I don't know what they were thinking. This thing I think you get from like the Hobgobor expansion pack. And it's just, oh, it's hideous. The face, oof. The proportions are also, oh, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. So yeah, you just get it in an expansion pack. You actually get to customize the color. I mean, customize. I don't think you actually get to do much with it. And I don't think you actually can change the color afterwards, but you know what? Who cares? I, I really don't. I think they were trying to make it derpy, but on the end of the day they just kind of made it horrifying. I don't know. The, the, I mean, maybe somebody finds it funny. I, I don't. Okay, I'm going to the wilderness. I can't take this anymore. It is way too dark anywhere else. This is probably the only flight suit I would just straight up say I don't like it. And I don't even want it in my collection. I like collecting things, but you don't belong here. Uh, so, we go to the Flight Mare Dragon armor. And I was, I mean, this, this, is, this is an interesting armor. I feel like the face kind of makes it awful, but you can actually remove the face. So that's nice. But I guess the face is kind of funny. But I think what ruins this white suit for me and why I don't ever wear it is this on the back. I don't know why they felt the need to, you know, they, they were sticking to this blue and a little bit of white color all the time. And then they just threw this like brownish gold that totally doesn't fit with the whole thing. And I just don't get why they ruined it because I'm sure I would have would have really loved to fly around with this a lot. But... It's just, nah. It's so distracting. I don't like it. And the worst part about that is I was actually quite excited to get this flight suit. And then I did and then I didn't wear it. So the next one is the Valka Dragon Armor. And if you're wondering, most of the flight suits actually you get in events. And many of these I don't think will ever be available again. Because you have like in an event when you collect the collectibles and stuff. You have a bunch of prizes that you go through. And usually the flight suit is the one before you get the dragon. But those flight suits don't usually... Like this one came to the store. But I don't think the rest of them do. Or it could be that maybe it doesn't show up for me in the store. Because I already have it. I don't know. I'm actually quite curious. Can somebody tell me? For example the Fire Room Queen armor. That was in Snoggle Talk. One of the prizes. Did that actually come into the store or not? 
But let's continue. So the Valka Dragon Armor. I mean, this thing I would have really loved to, you know, play around with a bit more. Even though I do sometimes use it. It's just, you know, here you can see the wings. You know, this red is really nice and the yellow. But in reality, when you're wearing it around, those wings aren't there. So you're just kind of left with, I mean, not a bad flight suit, that's for sure. But definitely less, I mean, more basic than when you're actually flying around with it. Because, I mean, look at this. Look at the pop of color when you're flying around. That's cool. And look, I just have to mention it. I know people who watch my videos are probably annoyed by me by now, but I have to mention this glitch. When you're gliding, you go down, your arms don't go back into the position, and they should. I don't get why they never will fix this, but I will complain about it every single time. You're just practically stuck looking like an idiot. How are you gliding? So next one is the Eretz Toffest Dragon Armor, and there's actually a version of this without the paint, like the pink and yellow, and I really want that version, but no matter how hard I try, I mean, I buy a bunch of those chests, like mystery chests, but the chance of getting flight suits in those are is practically impossible, so I kind of doubt I'll ever get it, but you know, one can dream. But yeah, this is the version with the paint, and I feel like the paint is so distracting. The fight suit itself, I mean, it's not bad, it's just I don't wear it because it's just, it's not something that I overly like, it's okay, I just really want the other one. So now we have the Flightmare costume, and I mean, as you can see, it is just a literal repaint of this one, I just, uh eh. I just feel like once again they kind of ruin it with this color, I don't know why they're obsessed with this, like, ruining it. Like, they make an actually... I mean, this is a pretty thing. I don't think it's that bad. The face is a little bit creepy and a bit derpy. But then they just put this for reasons. I don't know. I think with this one, you kind of look bald. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But when you're flying, yeah, it looks quite nice. And yeah, just to mention with this one, you also cannot remove the helmet. So the next one is the Dead Gripper Dragon Armor, and I remember that I really wanted this before. I really, really wanted to buy it, but it was like 800 gems or something. I wasn't paying that for a flight suit. Uh, but then at some point, I don't know what festivity it was. Maybe it was some kind of anniversary or something, but I know some of the flight suits were like free in the store. So I just got them then. I don't think they're free anymore, though. So when I bought it, I mean, yeah, it's a pretty flight suit. It's not bad at all. It's just I feel like at the time, I just... Got so many better ones that I kind of got bored of this one. It's not even that special, but it's okay. I think the helmet on this one might be the highlight of the whole flight suit. I don't know, I feel like it's very well done. I just kind of mm, think that there's a little bit too much like this grayish stuff instead of like a more of a dark black. And then we have the other one that I also got when they were free. And this one, um, uh, I don't know... Oh, it actually, I think without the helmet, it looks somehow worse. I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I just got it because it was free. So, like, I'm not gonna say no to free stuff. I, so, I feel like I can't bash on it too much because I did get it for free. It's fine. It's definitely original. I think this is the only one with this, actually, model of wings, which is cool. It's, like, from, like, from Fish Legs, from the third movie, you know, that flight suit. It's... Uh, I don't know. I don't think I will ever wear it for good reasons. But it is actually quite detailed. I gotta give it to them. They actually put a lot of effort. So the next one is the Ruffna Dragon Armor. This one is pretty also. It's also one of the ones that I got for free, I think. And it's nice, but I just don't really feel like flying around with it. I feel like it might be that it's a bit too like detailed and you really need to zoom in to actually see all of it. But when you zoom out, it kind of looks a bit messy. Maybe that's it. I don't know. It, it's cool. I like the shape of the wings. It really looks nice. So then we have the toughest Stormcutter Dragon Armor, and uh, this one is actually very cool. I don't know, is there a version of this like without the paint? Because if there is, I kind of also want it. But I think with this one, the paint doesn't even ruin it. I think it actually looks pretty cool. I actually want to see this thing fly because it has like, I mean, four wings. So that's pretty dope. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it actually has four wings. <laughs> I actually really like this one. This is very, very pretty. I love that fact that it has four wings and the whole design overall and the face. Like, I love this helmet. This is definitely one of the best ones. I don't think that removing the helmet makes sense. I mean, the helmet just makes it so much better. So then we have the Slitherwing Dragon Armor. Uh, one that really annoys me because you cannot remove the hood. And I mean, somebody in my comment section pointed out that like, oh, it's supposed to be connected. So that's probably why you can't remove it. 
and I'm just so sad because I really want to remove it because I like here with the wings it looks nice it looks very cool I mean it looks very menacing but then here when you don't have the wings it just looks kind of dumb I don't know and I really hate the shoulder pads I mean these shoulder pads are just horrendous Okay, but at least when you're flying it looks very cool, but you're not gonna be flying very often. But yeah, let's just let's just enjoy these wings. These are probably one of the best. Oh my god, they look so gorgeous. So next we have the Pouncer Dragon Armor, and this one is very cool. I mean, I just love everything related to the Night Tides. The only thing, I kind of wish that there was maybe a bit more green, like they put it only the, on the shoulders, but I guess it's fine. The helmet is also a bit questionable, but whatever. But the flight suit itself, very nice. I like the shape of the wings, it looks great. So I also have the dart version of this. I don't have the Rough Runner one, I didn't really feel like buying it. I think those were just in the store to buy. I'm not sure were they in an event, maybe they were. But this one I really like. I love how the blue works. I just really love dart, that's my favorite nightlight out of the three. I just think I'm really glad that they decided to make flight suits of the night lights. I mean, honestly, it's always a good choice to base anything off of the Fury family. And I love how well the actual white markings correspond to the dragon, same with Pouncer. And then we have the Fire Room Queen dragon armor, and this is one that I really like. I'm not usually a big fan of like gold, and this is like goldish yellow, I guess, color. But this one, I don't know what it is about it, I just really love it. I think the design is great, I love the spikes, I just love everything about it. It just looks gorgeous. I really... I, I actually fly with this one quite often compared to the rest, so this is definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> so the next one is the Wooly Howl Dragon Armor, and oh my god, I love this one so much. I have I was actually flying with it for quite a while now, and I just... I love the these white suits because they all feel so unique. Like, each one feels so nice. They actually put a lot of effort into making them, like the shape and all. They all look different. And that is what I appreciate. And this one is just definitely one of the best. I mean, the helmet just is gorgeous. I think my only complaint is a bit of like this kind of orange color. I don't know why they put a lot of it there. But you know what? I can get over it. It doesn't matter. I just really love this flight suit because it's quite neutral in color, but it still pops very well. It's great. And then we're gonna end with the Speed Stinger armor. So this one I have a little bit of mixed feelings about. I think the helmet is quite cool. I feel like going without the helmet is kind of ridiculous, even though I don't get this part here. It looks a bit strange. I feel like just the colors could really be better, but the shape itself is cool. I just feel like if the colors were a bit better, I would definitely be a bit more impressed. Even though I like how they have this kind of patch here, it makes it feel like it has a little bit more personality and all. But yeah, that would be pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and bye!